All right. So what? Well, um, the uh, the the, uh, the 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 next assignment asks you to uh, build a uh, uh, a list editor, right? That allows you to uh, add or remove items to a to a list to an existing list. Uh, so that, uh, for instance, if you're adding widgets, uh, then you add, you can add a widget or remove a widget. But that we we focus on doing that in the um, uh, in the web React web, right? Able to add widgets to, to an existing uh, application. Uh, here we want to do something similar, but we're adding questions to an exam, right? A question might have any number of an exam can, be, can have any number of, of questions. So so it's pretty much the same uh, exact uh, um, set of skills that we want to be able to, but we want to see how we can do it in React Native. Uh, so let's look at uh, how to create a list editor in React Native. Uh, so yeah, so first let's create a uh, um, a uh, uh, an application, a React Native application. We've done that already, uh, and React Native uh, elements. And so here we have we start with a simple hello world um, application. Uh, again, we can hide the status bar or not, right? That we, we looked at uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, and uh, and here we have a, a component that we're going to use to to hold all our questions, right? Uh, so it'll be a question list component. Uh, and, uh, and here we're just rendering, and right now it only has a text, a heading one text. Um, and, uh, and we can start off with a uh, default list of questions. Now this might be a question that you're retrieving from a server, right, or from an API, uh, more likely. But let's start off with something that is hard-coded uh, over here. So we have a label, question one, two, and three, uh, and unique identifiers. Uh, now the... Um, uh, we can, uh, for now, uh, we can, since it's a constant, right, and it's available in the same file, we can just refer to it uh, here, and we, pass, and we can pass it as, a, as an argument, as a property. We can send it as a property, and then the list component can, can, uh, uh, can receive that, that, uh, that property as an, as an uh, extracted from the properties. Uh, and here we're just displaying the list, uh, the, list of the, the size of the, uh, of the array. And right now there's only three. So it displays three. So, so we have a way of passing, passing information down to a component. Uh, what we'd like to be able to do is, is uh, just uh, use a list and a list item uh, components. The, these are the, uh, the ones in the React Native elements right, that we've been using so far. And we can just iterate over the list items, right, over, over our map, get the question ID, um, and the unique identifier, we can use it as a key, and the label of the question, we can use it uh, to as the content of the of the list item, okay. Uh, excellent. Uh, now, what we'd like to be able to do is add any number of questions, right? So we could have a button, or it could be several types of types of buttons, right? We can maybe. Uh, yesterday we looked at um, we looked at uh, button group, yes. Uh, and button group allow you to uh, maybe uh, uh, you know refer to, uh, be able to either select the type of uh, of uh, of question that you want to add. Um, or it could be that you selected like a switch, uh, and then and then you click on add, 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 and it just adds many of that type. Uh, or you can combine it with a drop down. Uh, we looked at several options yesterday. Uh, or it could be just uh, you know four buttons, and depending on the one you click, it just creates that one type of question, right? But here, just let's explore just one type of question, right? Uh, all right. So what could we do here? Uh, well, what we could do is um, uh, let's um, let's. Uh, 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 take as arguments our list component, uh, be a stateless component. Notice that it's, uh, it's not maintaining any state. Uh, instead, is, is receiving as an argument a, uh, a function, a function that uh, the button can invoke. So the button can invoke uh, add question, right? uh, and then it can notify the, uh, the add question. Notice here we're passing it as an argument, just as a lambda, right? and then just, we're, we're just alerting, right? just to see that there's a connection between the uh, uh, but between what we're passing, right, and that we can receive uh, that event outside of the component. Yes, all right. Um, um, all right. So let's uh, let's uh, let's let's see how we can add Redux to this, right? Uh, so for this assignment, for number four, uh, Redux is not required, right? If you prefer to use Redux or you prefer to use uh, state, either one is fine, right? You, we, we've done both. Right, we've done um, uh, first. We did uh, state managed with with uh, with the, with the um, out of the box state uh, support. Uh, but if you prefer to use Redux, that's fine too. I'm just showing you both ways. Right. Uh, so with Redux, 
uh, let's see, with Redux, uh, we're gonna we're going to uh, add, create a component all by itself uh, that's gonna be is gonna be housing that button, right? Uh, and that button is gonna receive as an argument the the uh, add question uh, function that is going to be is gonna invoke whenever you click on that button. Yes. Uh, so the button is not gonna maintain any state. It's only going to dispatch an action to uh, some reducer saying, "Hey, we want a new question." All right, and it'll be the responsibility of the reducer uh, to create a new question and add it to the state, right? Where the array, the, some array, initial array, has um, keeps track of all the questions. Um, all right, so we have the, uh, the the button all by itself, and um, um, so the uh, so what we're we're going to we're, we're going to combine the uh, list component, right? The list component is going to be responsible for rendering the questions. Right? So somebody is going to have to pass it a property of questions, yes? Uh, whereas the button will be uh, responsible for uh, invoking some function or, some, or dispatching uh, an action uh, when we want to add a new question, yes? Right? Uh, so we have to map these two. We're going to have to map the, uh, the, the dispatcher uh, to, the, to the button. We're going to have to uh, match, uh, uh, map the, uh, uh, the property question from the state of the reducer, yes? Right? OK. Uh, and notice that both are being uh, exposed by the container right, as properties up there. Yes? So we need to map those two things uh, to, to, a, to a reducer. Uh, so to, uh, to do that, uh, we, are, we are taking the container, we're taking the container and, and putting it uh, inside of an app so for, for rendering. Right? There it is, our alert, our questions. Right? So nothing new there. Um, all right, so let's add Redux. Let's add Redux. Right up to, up to this point, we haven't uh, done any any with Redux. Uh, so let's install Redux, React Redux. And uh, now this is this is a uh, we're using Redux on a React Native application, right? So and we use it identical the way we use it uh, in a uh, in a React JS application. They behave exactly the same way. Uh, so we'll create a reducer. Uh, this is a very trivial reducer, right? The only thing that it does is just that it returns the uh, the initial state. That's all it does. Uh, so notice that um, a const reducer, um, right now we're not taking any action. Right? It only takes as argument the state. Right? And notice that uh, the initial state will be the constant. This is the same array that we declared earlier that had three questions, remember? Right? So it's, uh, it's initializing its state with that, with that constant. OK? All right? Uh, and the, thing, the only thing that it's doing, it's returning that state. That's all it's doing, right? See that? It's just returning. Um, so what we're going to do is first we're going to map. Uh, but before we were passing that those questions, we were passing it as a property of the uh, questionless container. Yes. Instead, now uh, we're going to have the reducer pass that to the property. We're going to say uh, we're going to take the state as an argument. And we're going to say, okay, well, the questions property that I'm going to, I'm going to connect, the questions property is going to be come from where? From the reducer's question state. Okay, that's where it's going to grab it, right? Because the reducer is going to be responsible for adding, removing, uh, updating this array, right? And we're going to map it to the property, the questions property. Okay? Uh, and then we connect. We say connect question list. Uh, so this is the question list that we're going to render. Uh, we're going to uh, map the, the re Redux state to component property mapper. Uh, we're going to connect it to the question list uh, container. Okay. Uh, then we create our, our, our store. We'll take the reducer and create our brand new store. And then we need to provide that store to the, uh, to the, uh, to the application. Here it is, right? We, we provide the store uh, um, uh, to, the, to the application, which is now going to do the connection, the reducing, and the and the is going to map the state uh, to the components uh, property. Uh, all right, so that that's us passing data, right? Passing data down to the components. How about being able to handle actions, right? For instance, we like to be able to add a new question or, or remove a question, right? Uh, so, uh, so here is the uh, the original default that we had, right? Here, here's our reducer now taking into account that. Uh, it's not always returning the default state, 
right? It's, uh, it's going to behave differently depending on what the action that is being dispatched, right? Uh, so if, to, that, to that end, uh, notice that we are, we are now no longer taking the default set of questions. So we're going to start with an empty list of questions. So the state, now the question is empty as opposed to the default, right? The default had three questions, right? Now we're uh, initializing it to an empty array. And now, but now we're taking also as an argument the action that's going to be dispatched whenever we click on the add button, add question button, right? Uh, so it's going to dispatch here. Uh, depending on the type of the question of the action, uh, we're going to uh, add a question. So presumably, add a question. What's going to do is going to copy the old questions, right? Uh, comma a brand new uh, object that's going to represent the brand new uh, question, right? With a brand new label, uh, label new question. So that's a default label for our question, right? Well, it could be the title, perhaps, right? Uh, excellent. So that's, uh, that's uh, if we're going to uh, uh, um, execute an add question. Uh, and here is the, uh, the, uh, the dispatch, right, this, uh, that the button is, gonna, is going to uh, invoke, right? And remember, the, the button is exposing a function called add question. Right, so we're going to we're going to connect to that one button. We're going to say, "Hey, button, you have an add question uh, 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 event that you're exposing." Right? Uh, I want to map that event. I want to map it to this dispatch. Right? Whatever you click on that button, I'm going to dis uh, call the dispatch function, and I'm going to pass it the add question uh, type. Okay? And that's going to be handled by who? By the reducer. Right? So the last thing that we need to do is is connect, right? Notice that we already connected the property. Uh, we have not yet connected the, the action mapper, right? So we'll need to uh, connect that as well. So in the connector, when we connect it, notice that we had only mapped the properties. Now we're adding a second, uh, a second mapper, right? That this maps the event handlers uh, to the dispatchers, right? Uh, so this, this maps what? This maps the state, right, to the property. This maps the event uh, of the component to a dispatcher, right? Uh, and it maps to the, uh, it's, it's connecting the uh, question list uh, container. And that's it. That's, uh, that, that, that's it, real, all there is to it. Right? That adds uh, questions.